All right, Kasich, you know, is still in this race, the sole surviving governor. What does he do? He doesn't have a lot of cash. Since I'm talking about cash only, yeah. I mean, since the beginning of February, I think one and a half million dollars is what he picked up since the beginning of February. And you put that to a Ted Cruz or to a Ruby who are coming in around 13 or 14 million. So he does need a little injection for mm -hmm. sure. At least for the money. He uh, might be able to. I mean, look, he, he if he's going to hang on another day here, he's he needs it. Um, he might be able to get that. I mean, I think that people, as they see this field narrowing out, um, with Bush now gone, okay, so he, Ken he might be able to pick up. Something. Here's his dilemma. His best guy is Ken Langone. You're talking about Kasich, yeah. right? Who used, money. To, who used to back yeah, Chris Christie. Christie. Ken Langone is going to be calling establishment Republican voters and saying, "Give to Kasich, not to Rubio." Kasich. 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 And they know what they're going to say? Forget it, Ken. I'll give to one of your hospitals instead. And, and you it's think that's why? It's not happening. Because also, they even if he were to pick off Massachusetts, there's a good shot in Minnesota, uh, Vermont. I'm talking about Super Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's about the best you can hope for. There might, you might be right. I think, why do you think, I think that, though, I think the, Charlie? I, Honestly, why well, write a check to a hospital instead of a county? I, I only meant a hospital because Ken raises a lot of money yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's a no, cost. I, just, I, think, I think the, the establishment Republicans, based on what I hear from them, and I, you know, I got pretty good sources there, they are going to rally around Rubio right now. They, they will see him as their best shot. And Could this backfire in Rubio? Well, that, that everyone's yeah, pushing him? What do you think yes. about that? I, I can't see how the dynamics play out. I can't uh, conjure that one up at this point. But what I can see very clearly is a, a contest right now that is going to, uh, as I suggested earlier, I think it's going to pivot. I think Rubio gains the advantage. Trump and Cruz will be fighting for the, uh, for the, uh, for the voters uh, that will be determinant. Uh, and it's going to be that battle. What Rubio could do is sort of sail in and draft behind them. I don't see the support. He has not demonstrated the kind of support you need, either at the grassroots level or financially, uh, to prevail. Well, he can, uh, and, he can but, raise money. I'm sorry? He can raise money. Well, there's no question. Well, there's no question that Rubio, Rubio, easy. all yeah. three of those folks have right. money. Uh, I mean, and, and Trump, for that matter, can raise money, too, if he decides ultimately to I, go that direction. What do you think of the importance of these endorsements? I mean, we've been talking a lot about Governor Nikki Haley. Uh, Rubio also has Sam Brown back. I mean, he does, if you're putting yeah. that into yeah. the equation, he does have governors, which usually I like weight what heavier said for some may, statisticians. Maybe we're minimizing it, but he'd be a lot worse off without it. You know? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I mean, I think he that helped him significantly. Right. Uh, the flip side of that is, you know, in this in this crazy election year where people don't like establishment candidates, the more establishment you have coming out for you, yeah. you know, it, it, it could go either don't you way. you see the establishment yeah. hating Ted Cruz? I don't think it's right or fair, but yes, is what they it is. do hate but Ted Cruz. But think about who Bob Dole, they came after Cruz. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the criticism was focused on Cruz, not Trump. Oh, yeah, no. In fact, I've had many establishment folks tell me, I, okay, you don't like either one. Of them, right? I get it. But if you had to pick Cruz, if they both fell out of vote and you could save only one, and, and consistently, been? I keep hearing Trump because yeah. they say, well, we can work with him. Because they wrote a book him. called The Art of the Deal, yeah. and they want and to make now, deals. But I think the phone calls go something like this over the next couple of days from major Republicans. And you'll probably see a Sheldon Adelson mm -hmm. now finally throw his number, the billionaire uh, real... Uh, uh, Although Vegas, LBS right? stocks down right? quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, maybe he doesn't have the money right now, but uh, throw some money to, to Ruby. They're, they're going to say, listen, we need one establishment candidate. I mean, I think that's what Rubio's people are going to say. We need one. We have to get rid of these other guys so we can do a three-man race and then you see where it falls out and I still even in that you're right Lou a, a advantage goes to Trump Cruz still and then well, who's the best debater against Hillary we were talking about yeah, that I, mm. but a three-person debate changes the night a little bit I don't think I mean I, I think he would be very challenged well, right now it's Hillary. still a technically night, a five-person debate no. you'd still have Carson in the race you have Kasich Rubio Cruz uh, and obviously Trump. I mean, Carson's a really nice guy and a great story, but he becomes a sideshow at some point, obviously. I mean, he just doesn't have much going for him. There's, there's another element to this, which is what Trish was suggesting, and that is you hang that, uh, that millstone of the establishment around the neck of whomever. Adelson uh, puts money behind. Uh, whomever decides they've got that establishment lane, well, that lane may be clear of other candidates, but it's going to. But it, awfully... Cruz and Rubio are fighting over that lane, right? Uh, Cruz I and Rubio, so. Cruz is out of that. I, yeah. I believe he's out of that lane now. He and Trump are bumping elbows well, now for is, the rest of the way. In many ways, it is an establishment 
for a candidate with an asterisk on it. But now you have to watch and how Trump, watch how Trump and Rubio. Well, know, and, and right. you know what Trump's going to say? Look, this guy has been bought and sold. He's got. Mm. You know, we don't know if he's going to get Allison's right. money, but he's got Allison's money, or he's got Langone's money, or whoever's money is. is he's going to make that into this guy's bought and sold. I'm out here. I'm doing this because I care. I know what I'm doing, and I can make this country better. So that's what the I think the dialogue will come down to. It's certainly if, part of it. If in fact, with um, every win, though, Donald like Trump success. takes on the aura of looking more and more inevitable, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, you want to say that, but then you, it, it just it has to click in your head if you're being fair and balanced. No, but a second place in Iowa, three. a win in New Hampshire, a win in South Carolina, but they're going to start to add up, right? But he, I mean, this but was, stuck think about what he did here. This is big Bush country. Months. This is big evangelical yeah. country. I mean, the Bushes have never lost win. in South Carolina. I mean, really? that is, well, yeah, I think you're that's right. a big the evangelical story, and the military. It's pretty impressive. And he won in both of those I think the fact that, I mean, you know, I tell you, you knew Jeb was done if he couldn't get among... Beyond 10 percent with his mother uh, campaigning for me. That to me is huge. Yeah, but Trump even called him out on that, saying, yeah. "Don't bring your mommy to events." Like that was yeah. a, a and his, tough. And yeah. his mother, as we all recall, said, "Don't do it." Uh, you know, you're right. And, and yeah, said, you're right. The, tr the country does not so who need do you any think, more Bush. So who, do you think he did the decision on his own? Or did, he, or did his well, mother go no, and say, I, don't I, do I, it? I, I think he, he did it on his own. He's got his whole family there, though. He's got his whole family. Yeah. He must have consulted look, them. You and saw I think the look he was on, conflicted from the beginning. Do I reference He's, the legacy? Yeah. Do I not reference the legacy? I tell you, I just had a gut feeling about that. Once I just... You did. He looked... Although, they were saying it today. No. Consultants no. were saying today he's no. out. But wasn't it the this. right move to do it tonight? One of the few yeah. times the consultants were right. It was very, it was very <laughs> clean. It was very clean. It was very classy. Very gentle. Very classy. Uh, goes out with a great deal of class. As do all of you. I want to thank you very much, everyone.